Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, let's look at how to calculate IRR, net present value, and payback period by using Excel formulas. Okay. So first of all, we'll calculate IRR. Before that, let's assume our cost of capital as 9%. Okay. Then we'll move on to uh, the calculation of IRR, you are given the free cash flows, the cash inflow minus cash outflow will be the uh, free cash flow, the net free cash flow. And also uh, you are given the cumulative free cash flow. Uh, in order to calculate IRR, you need to use the IRR function. Use IRR function. Just take the free cash flow from year 0 to year 10. So thereby, you can identify your IRR. IRR is 14%. Okay. To identify net present value, what you can do is you can use NPV function. Then you need to use the, the cost of capital, which is the rate. Okay. Then you have to select uh, the free cash flow from year 1 to year 10. First of all, we need to identify the present value of the cash. Uh, the positive cash flows then from the positive cash flow you need to deduct the cash outflow which is year zero cash outflow one uh, one thousand okay so since this is in minus what you can do is you can plus one thousand so that will be that will give you the net percent value of three hundred and thirty nine okay uh, to calculate payback period, there are two methods available. Okay, the first method it will give you a, a rough calculation of uh, the payback period. The payback period means uh, how soon you can recover your initial investment. Okay, to identify that we need to uh, identify to calculate that we need to identify uh, the year in which the cash flow becomes zero. Okay, it becomes zero after sixth year. Okay, in between sixth and seventh year, as you can see, this is a cumulative cash flow. So, how did I calculate the cumulative cash flow? You just take the previous uh, cash flow plus the current cash flow. So, thereby you can identify the uh, cumulative free cash flow. Okay, so to calculate, uh, there are two ways. Okay, you can use lookup formula. You need to look up for zero value at which point the the cash flow becomes zero. Then uh, you need to give the range. You need to give the range of the cumulative cash flow. Then you need to pick. You need to select from the uh, time period. Then you need to add one. So this is giving a rough calculation of payback period it is between 6th and 7th year the cash flow becomes positive in the 7th year so that's why the payback period is 7 years okay otherwise if you want to identify the exact uh, payback period okay so what you can do is there is another formula uh, you can uh, use there's another formula that you can use what you can do is you can use if formula if and you need to take uh, the 8 if greater than less than 0 if it is the 8 is less than 0 or your e8 greater than 0 then take the time period then take the time period plus you need to use uh, ABS function ABS function there what you can do is take D8 divided by your cash inflow the subsequent cash inflow okay so thereby you can so it's giving a false uh, payback period so if you drag this to year 10 until year 10 you can see uh, the time period at which 
the the cash flow will be recovered which is 6.43 years okay so basically it will be 6.43 years this is seven years the first method the second method you can identify the exact period okay so here 0.43 means so what you can do is uh, minus 6 0.43 means if you multiply by 12 if you multiply this by 12 it will be 5 months this will be in months so it will be 6 years and 5 months finally by using a graph let's see how to calculate the payback period uh, for that purpose what you need to do is you need to get the range the time range and the uh, cumulative cash flow then go to insert and select uh, the line graph select the time range and the cumulative cash flow then select the uh, line with markers this graph you can use uh, otherwise you can use stack line with markers okay so either either uh, graph you can use so let's say uh, we'll use this one then you need to do a little bit of modification just go to select data and we need to select the time range time range should be 0 to 10 okay so once you select this as you can see the intersection point this is a zero uh, uh, horizontal axis where this line intersect the horizontal uh, axis this is the point at which this cash flow becomes zero okay up up to this point it is uh, negative from this point onward it's positive and also i can show you in a different graph uh, 2d from 2d graph uh, you can clearly see how the negative cash flow becomes positive cash flow at this point uh, this cash flow the negative cash flow becomes positive at this point this is the point at which you get the payback period which is 6.5 months okay so you can change this to payback period chart okay